Hello everyone, my name is Donna Gamer and this is Subnautica Below Zero. So we're already on our part 5 of this walkthrough and for recap, we've already done the habitat builder to create a T compartment or an um, X compartment with the fabricator and the necessary uh, battery charger for uh, devices or equipments that we need to recharge so now for this part the priority to make would be batteries for charging we will try to get the grab trap again and put it on our base one which we will rename to twisty bridge then uh, the next one is to create the sea truck to travel more uh, terrain and also try to uh, create power cells for the sea truck and try to see if we can retrieve the cell charger or either the moon pool for charging of the uh, sea truck all in all let's uh, try to do this within the uh, allowed time and as we uh, go back it is gonna be recalling to the uh, uh, X compartment and later on we will be checking for other power sources such as the thermal plant and other means to charge the uh, compartment itself or also the multipurpose room so here is the X compartment it's already charging the one single battery that I've created already and for double checking we still have to locate more ribbon plants copper and let's try to replenish this one and try to double check some of the researches that we've already found so this one is crystalline sulfur coral would be the table coral for fauna that would be one of the carnivores which is the brine wing i think that's the one that uh, is um spewing or I think it's spitting water or ice this one is boomerang one of the edible fish food fish also one of the edible fish and for flora we have the crescent moon coral so there's one or two more items left let's just recall this research and go to tech so habitat installation there is the floodlight and for vehicles that is one of our priority which is the sea truck so as we are gonna have or need more batteries let's try to locate some ingredients for that so spin battery also next one is the sea truck ingredients so for batteries we will create at least six so that would be three for this battery charger then I think six or seven or let's try seven so that we can create the two power cells that is needed so it's still morning or the solar chargers are no longer charging so it still has batteries left we will try to rename this base one to as mentioned twisty bridge okay there we go there I think it recognized the details already so we're just gonna resurface for a bit to make sure on our bearings so this is our drop pod I still see that cage then the Delta station dock so we're just gonna go back to the drop pod a little so that we can locate some 
information or the ribbon plants that are usually located here so also we will be checking some stones for copper In there like this there's a copper that's one not yet that's two but it's titanium so there's the scan sea glide for titanium or more titanium ingredients there's also this little island I think I've already gone here I'm hearing that fish I think it's still not open let's try to look for more this one is silver so that's not the one that we need this one is lead not yet so we only have 69 seconds left so as the sea truck also has glass or that I think is enameled glass but let's try to check for copper first that's our priority try to look for copper we only have a few seconds left okay let's try to breed first so as you can recall on the previous parts I'm always on the bottom of the sea or always on the sea to check so most of the materials are here we will try to locate most of them then once we also gone to the delta station that's the time that we can also try to double check on the service so also we must prioritize on the food and fluid intake so once we have the necessary food there, locate the stones for copper, double check. So there's already three coppers, two ribbon plants, so we can create one battery already. There we go. So it's morning again. So the X compartment can already charge so I'm just browsing things without using the mineral detector as we are just trying to complete complete uh, completing the creation of batteries so ribbon plant as much as possible copper stones okay for titanium we will use that later for other compartments for us to use it's not taking this ribbon plant okay we have 30 seconds left let's try to resurface oh what's that let's try to check this if this is nope let's go back there we go try to look for other stones we still or there's no need for salt yet we can try to use that once we have the necessary scanned materials so I think that's the symbiote trying to attack me there we go there's the fourth copper third glass hope that we already have all of the ingredients or I think at least three for the batteries so that we can create one and replace the ones that are being used or currently in use so ribbon plant is or we're still looking for ribbon plant mostly oops 
So it's already indicating inventory full. Let's now go to the drop pod for recalling off things. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, so let's create the batteries needed. So we can create three. There we go. Oh, I think that's four already. Let me double check. That's four. That's good. So let's replace this. This. This one is already 100. This one is 86. Let's also replace this. Let me check if there is still a need for other batteries. So for this flashlight. There we go. Let's replace the flashlight also so that we can have all of the regions for 100%. So now that we have the necessary or we have the batteries that are not yet charged, I can either try to charge it already and then also try to use it as uh, for creation of the power cell. So let's try to create the power cell. It's only one. So the one thing left for the power cell is the silicon or the silicon rubber and for the silicon rubber it just needs the creep bind seed cluster which will create two silicon rubbers already. So I'm just gonna fill or put the titanium here for a sec. Also we'll replenish some of our fluid and food intake go cook all the things or all the fishes that we have caught drink the food uh, the fluid then check everything else there so we will now go in get to the creep vine or the creep vine forest check while we're looking for copper and also ribbon plants okay there's no ribbon plant here it's good that the seed cluster is quite shiny and it's red not unlike on the previous um, subnautica it's uh, yellow or yellowish so this one's salt. So what's this thing? So it's one of the creature egg. So it's not scannable or it's not gonna be scanned. This one's titanium. So for ribbon plants, let's try to check if we can use the mineral detector and check if that is one of the minerals I think that's not one of the minerals it's just that it's one of the plants as you can see it's not showing here so we're gonna be having a hard time on the ribbon plants so let's already try to go back and get as much copper as we need and also for making sure i think i also have lead back on uh, the drop pod so there's titanium we can already uh, create the titanium ingot and for the advanced wiring kit let me also try to add that as a pin material this one also so for wiring kit that's two silver then for the computer chip let's also try to scan that so there's still a few things that we need in order for us to create the C truck but 
our priority as of the moment is the batteries so that we can replenish it and charge it while we're doing some uh, prioritize or we're checking some of the other things so for this one on the creep vine part there's no ribbon plant and let's just try to go back to the drop pod for the NML glass and also the silicon rubber so that we can free some space and already have it stored on our uh, storage box so 51 seconds or 48 seconds left for the oxygen there we go let's try to check if we can create titanium ingot already that's good so one titanium ingot done another glass that's good silicon rubber then power cell so let's check for the power cell if it's 100 percent so the power cell is 100 percent even if the previous batteries here is not 100 percent it's good so we only need three leads then the advanced wiring kit so the lead here is complete or we have enough to work on there's also a battery here so that's good then silver ore so silver ore for wiring kit for gold we still haven't got one i'm gonna put this titanium ingot then create another power cell for reserve on the Citra and also to conserve some space there for the wiring kit then for the copper wire so to check the wiring kit is done so let's unpin this for the advanced wiring kit we only need two table corals then one gold for gold uh, we can check the creep bind forest for the silicon rubber or the ribbon plant here let's put it inside or outside then put the power cell copper wire so let's use this flare go leave some space for important ones so there um, we also have storage outside I'm gonna put some items here oh the ribbon plant was replenished on this part but we are lacking um, we're lacking copper so we still need copper so let's go back to the next part just gonna drink some water get this grab trap then go back to twisty bridge there we go so while we're going to the twisty bridge we will try to locate again copper stones or copper ore and also ribbon plants and also the table coral which is available here in the twist uh, twisty bridge so for the table coral we can try to use the mineral uh, detector while we're at it and okay detect those for us to create there we go welcome aboard captain thank you come aboard 
So the batteries are all there. It's just that we need to put in the storage the other things like this ribbon plant. For the players, we will use it later. Grab trap to set and put this to use with the silicon rubber. Okay, so we will store the silicon rubber on this locker also. Then the wiring kit. We will use necessary items such as the flare later on because it's quite dark. Let's just deploy this one so that we can use this free space to get as much as fluid and then food intake so there you go it also catches one of the stones that we need oh that's copper that's good let's now try to okay there we go use the mineral detector and look for table coral not detecting anything yet I think oops there so there's one it's vibrating I think it's inside here oh there's a, a ribbon plant or there's ribbon plant also here that's good okay there's that that's lead it's supposed to be lead but hmm is it down or is it up it's gone it's gone Let me just try to resurface there we go go back further there we go it, the table coral was detected before but it's no longer showing there so I saw it already I'm just gonna use knife instead of the flashlight because I can still see there we go that's one is this for copper nope that's titanium still for copper that's still titanium that's copper that's good there's another table coral that we need there I think this is the one that is currently being detected before when oh during the subnautica one when you try to cut a table coral you can cut it into three parts so one display of table coral it's already gonna give you at least three but now just one single cut and it can only give you one so there are a few things there ribbon plant ribbon plant ribbon plant so I think we have enough ribbon plants to create another power cell or batteries for us to use copper is also good let's go back up there to our tiny base compartment so it's good that we have the necessary things for us to have an intake as you can see our power is still enough for this one so we can create two batteries with the use of the resources that we have then we will go back to the drop pod as you can see it's already draining some energy in just creating this item 
so there's also this thermos later we will try to use that once we will go to the delta station but for now we will prioritize these things so gold is also not yet found we will just try to make use of our storage there we go I think it's enough or it's time to get fluid intake so that's the bladder fish bladder fish come on try to catch one then two it's good so even if you already got the bladder fish you still have to scan it for I think PDA purposes go so as I mentioned I'm gonna use flares for checking so that I would try to browse some things here on the twist the twisty bridge so there are still a few things that can be located here so this one is for lead that's good there's this fish that is quite dangerous Let's try to scan it without getting hurt so that's the brute shark oh no 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 it attacked me it two? I think uh, I thought it was two. So that's the brute shark. It's quite aggressive. There we go. So there's also this guy that's quite hard to see. As you can see, it's trying to get us already. I'm just get trying to get gold. Come on. No 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 no! Stay, stay away! Uh, I can still hear it. Oh no 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 no! Get away! Get away! My God, that stopped. It's okay. There are some caves that are good here, which has um the gold or the uh, stone that we can break for gold so I, I always try to differentiate those ores uh, oops. let's try to check if we can have those ores Oops, 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 oops. Whew. I thought it was gonna explode already. Good thing it's not detected as yet. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oops. Oxygen it's already efficiency decreased. 100, but as mentioned, let me try to throw some players here for making sure that we already got this far good that there are still oxygen plants here but there is no minerals yet so let's try to oops gold there we go Check. Hope that there is one or at least a few here. Let's not go deeper. Oops. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh my god. That hurts. I think there's a need for me to use the first aid kit. 
just gonna go outside for a bit to get some air there we go okay go again so let's see how long we can last if we go further down also try to check if we can try to get gold inside so it's gonna indicate passing 100 meters but we still need to go further so there is a cave here that I think I've already gone through there's the sea monkey egg so I think I passed here just gonna get some air or a few air oh that's oh, I don't want to hear that creature again it's there there's a volcanic eruption here but there's no stone yet or also forgot that uh, try to go past try to go past so that we will not get blown up there we go next thing that we need is this thank god no 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 I still can hear those fish can make it I'm not seeing any stones come on this place is quite dangerous I don't know if we can look for ah there hope that it's gold ah no it's titanium let's go back already we need to resurface few seconds late and I'm gonna die again Whew. it's not it's not all lost 30 seconds of oxygen remaining we still got one gold so we only need one so for now let's just try to make use of that I think we still haven't gone here so that's good it's a bit good on this part Let's see what's this one it's a na navigational 8 I think I already have one yeah Ooh, what's this it's not scanning so I think it's not in use Ooh. ah I think this one is used before or I used this one before that's the pathfinder tool it's not that useful Whoa. Is, that, is that a pengling attacking I thought it's not aggressive or I think that's just the ice falling so I'm on a different part of oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god different part of the island or different part of the creek vine forest so that is my drop pod I'm near my drop pod and the twisty bridge is quite far so it's quite good to go here but I think it's best that we would try to go on this path for checking so this one is another beacon that can be converted to uh, titanium there's still other things here there's a PDA also that we can read or we can play if that's an audio or that's gonna be useful on our end 
So there, I think I'm recalling this place already. That's further way on the uh, creep pine forest. So I'm just gonna get the things I need for the sea truck. So as you can see, the sea glide is quite draining the battery already. There's a titanium ingot. I have, oh, I have sea truck upgrade already. So I can create plastic ingot. For plastic ingot, there's a need for titanium ingot, but I still haven't got any lithium. So I will locate that further later on. I also gonna be needing to intake fluid first there we go for the food nutrient block is the most efficient one so we will not be draining too much of that I already have this this battery where's that other one there we go Mineral detector, let's put it on 100%. Other things can be inside here. So that's the copper wire and the titanium ingot. Then let's go back to base 1. So here is the vehicle bay. Let's pack this one up and we will deploy the sea truck along our compartment. So there are ribbon plants that are stored on our compartment. There's also the wiring kit or advanced wiring kit. Or I think that's the wiring kit. So we will create the computer chip for the advanced wiring kit. Then once that is done, we can already create the um, c truck so that we can easily use it here. So let's deploy this on top. There we go. Okay, that's good. Go inside. That's good. So there's already a battery that's 100% charge. Okay, so it's gonna consume a lot. So advanced wiring kit. Let's try to get the two table corals here. Two ribbon plants. Oops. There we go. Computer chip. Then one battery. Good. Then the wiring kit. Go. Create the advanced wiring kit. And there we have it. So the C truck is not gonna be here. I'm just gonna unpin other oops unnecessary things. So as mentioned, we will create this thermos for us to travel a long way. So that we will not be freezing. Okay, let's try to make sure that we can use other things to create while we're making the C truck. So the grab trap is already located outside. I'm just gonna get food intake. I think I need three. So that's this one. This one. There's the other one. This one. That's good. <laughs> Excited to play the sea truck. But let us eat first. Hope that the sea truck is well equipped, even if there's no upgrade yet. 
There we go. Let's eat. There we go. So we also gotta be needing the first aid kit. Or it's not the first aid kit that we will create but the medical kit. Ah, I see. So it's not available yet. So let's just create a first aid kit for us to be sure that we are safe. So let's pin this. And okay, that's good. We now have the necessary things that we can use. So we still also gonna be needing this one later on, but not yet. So C truck depth. Okay, we have the enamel glass and the plastilingot. So for minerals that are needed, we still haven't checked it yet, but we will just have to go and locate some other things. Also try to expand this compartment so that we can try to locate more or check more uh, places. So I'm trying to make sure on the other things but let's already create the sea truck. I'm excited to see the sea truck already. Okay, let's go. Climb the... Ooh, what's this? I think I put it back. <laughs> I'm not putting it back. I'm trying to climb it. There. There we go. Let's go and create BKL, then C truck. C truck being created. Okay, so there you have it. So C truck created. As you, can as you can see, it's compact one and it's much smaller. Not unlike the first one, which is the C mod. And it's quite cute. It's all on the glass. And let's try to check. Ah, I see. It's also quite handy and also easy to move on. Ooh, this one is exciting. I'm just gonna go outside. So I'm gonna be ending this video. And for the next video, we will be trying to go and check on other things. So, hope that you like this video. If you want more videos, just try to share and subscribe to both my YouTube and Facebook page on the description. And as uh, mentioned, we will continue this later on, on the next video. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.